I know which child did this. I've got a child who's obsessed with Elon Musk. So apparently he thinks Christmas should be Elon. Hi, good morning. It's Monday, one of my favorite days of the week. Um, so today I have to do the whole house clean. Um, and so I've got my timer. Um, so today I need to just blitz through everything as quickly as possible because I actually have a lot of um, other things that I want to do that aren't necessarily cleaning related. So in order to keep myself hyper-focused on the task and to monotasking, I'm using my timer and each room has been allocated 15 minutes. And this is just so that I don't get carried away with organization. So I like home organization. So sometimes I'll be doing up a room and then I'll be like, oh, it would be better if I organized things like this. And then I kind of get sidetracked, but I don't want to do that today. Um, so I've got my timer. 15 minutes has been allocated for each room. So I'll have 15 minutes to just get stuff done. And I've got my list of um, rooms here. So I've got 16 um, rooms slash areas that need to be done. And so that should take me four hours off work. But at least if I finish in four hours, then at least I'll have two hours to get stuff done um, before the kids get back. So I'm not going to, because I'm hyper-focusing and monotasking, I'm not going to be able to record the vlog. So I'll see you guys in four hours because my timer is about to go off now. I'm also going to continue reading the uh, Conscious Parent on my audiobook. I just realized I'm nearly at the halfway point, which is awesome. Okay, so we're getting the pork ready um, to make the pulled pork. And we're going to be using the instant pot slow cooker function. So this has got some barbecue sauce, apple cider vinegar, some soy sauce, and you've got some thyme, and you've got Worcester some sauce. onions, some Worcester sauce, um, a little bit of chili flakes, and then that's just going to go for about eight hours in the slow cooker, and that's how we make our pulled pork. Mm -hmm. More? Mm -hmm. I finished, I uh, managed to finish everything in three and a half hours, which I'm very pleased with. I was just like hyper laser focus and everything is good enough clean. I wasn't going for like, you know, dusting and, and uh, doing everything, but everything is just good enough clean now, which I'm very happy with. So that means that I've actually potentially have time to do the photo shoot for the scuba skirt. Um, I managed to write up the post yesterday. Yesterday was running, but today is a really, really beautiful day. I'm just uh, going to show you. Okay. Really beautiful day today. The sun is out. Everything is nice and right so yeah hoping obviously to get the pictures done today actually i just realized that i probably need to do my nip mode browse through so this is my nip mode december issue which i got a couple of weeks ago but I haven't um, opened it because I've had a few issues with the delivery um, of the magazine. And that has been a little bit frustrating. Um, I did send off uh, an email. And so it basically started with I didn't get the September issue of the magazine. Um, yeah, and then everything just seemed to be running late after that. And I did eventually get the November and the December issue, but I missed out on two of the issues. So yeah, <laughs> I 
I haven't been uh, very happy from a process uh, side of things, but it's still okay. I'm not like mm, about it because I still have a lot of sewing patterns to sew from um, other sewing magazines anyway, which kind of made me realize that I probably am not going to renew the Nip Mode subscription um, simply because I haven't sewn as much from it as I would like to. And I get a lot of fatigue when I try to trace out the patterns because their pattern sheets only have black and red lines. Um, whereas um, Berda and the other magazines, they've got different color lines. So you've got red, you've got green, you've got blue, you've got black. But if you've got just red and black, I really struggle with that. So I find that with Nip Mode, I can never trace more than one pattern at a time. Whereas with Bird, I can trace up to three or four patterns or with other sewing magazines. So anyway, so that's the story behind why I haven't done any Nip Mode browse throughs because I hadn't received the next two months of them. And um, I've noticed that I tend to like to do the things in order. So I kind of felt like, well, I shouldn't be doing the November one until I do the October one. But yeah, I'm going to do this. Anyway, I'm going to do the December browse through and I'll see if I can post it today. Yeah. I just finished doing a post on my blog about vlogmas it's pretty awesome okay we're back at the instant pot so it's going to have it on rent and we're gonna check on that pork oh. mm. smells so good while the Instapot is being used for the slow cooked pulled pork, that's going to be Tuesday's meal. Tonight, we're having a tuna pasta bake with some a broccoli. So I've got my onions. These are the last onions that we um, have from growing ourselves. From now on, we have to buy until uh, spring when we can harvest some more onions. And I've got some tomatoes and I'm just going to start chopping. 